So it's past that time of year again when grade 9 to 11 students sit down to write their exams, and which means after the exams we all get a report card. And sometimes there is confusion with report cards regarding marks, uh, report 1, report 2 marks versus final marks, averages, etc. So I'm just going to give a brief explanation regarding the report card so high school students can hopefully and parents can hopefully have a better uh, understanding. So firstly, the MBEN means the Brunswick Education Number, and the final five digits on your report card is your login information to the school computers. Now let's just take a look down here to report one. So this student got an 81 in foundation math for report one. All these marks were issued in November. These are not the final marks. These are just marks, the most current marks in November last semester. Report 2 Report two are the marks that were issued prior to exams, so these marks do not include the exams nor final projects or assignments. These marks were issued before exams came into play. So Report 1 and Report 2 are not final marks. They are just marks leading up to the final mark. Skip Report 3 and Report 4, don't pay attention to that, and come over here to Final. This is the final mark that the students received in their course. So for example, in Foundations Math, ignore the period, Foundations Math, the student got an 81 in Report 1, that is not the final mark. They get a 71 in Report 2, again, not the final mark. And then finally, after the exams and all major assignments included, this is the final mark the student received for all of their courses. You also notice that English, which the student took, is not listed here as a final mark, nor does it have a credit. That is because all grade 9 to 11 students have English running all year, so the final mark for English will not be issued until June, and then that student will receive a credit. All these credits count towards graduation. All students must have 17 credits in order to graduate. This is the period, ab period absent the student was per class. And then take a look at average. Report 1 was the average of this column of marks. Report 2 was the average of this column of marks. And final is the final average the student obtained. So semester 1, the final average a student had was 80%. Also, if a student has INC anywhere on the report card, whether it be here or here, that means a student, if a student has an I INC on the report card, that means either here or here, that means that the student was unsuccessful completing a course, it means the course is not completed. If that is the case, it probably means you have not completed a major assignment, so please see your teacher in that class ASAP.